the drop that we've seen in the XRP price has nothing to do with XRP. It's to do with the general market, Jerome Powell and the FOMC minutes, speech, whatever. The CPI data was great. We have a pause, which is what everybody was expecting. But what people weren't expecting was kind of the hawkish pause, which means they're going to raise rates later on. People have asked them, why don't you just come and raise the rates now and be done with it earlier? The market is tired of being dragged along, you know, indefinitely. We just want to know what it is that you're going to do so that people can get back into the market and be bullish again. The news, all the news that we've actually got that is related to XRP has been absolutely bullish. The rest of the market is basically freaking out. And of course, that's having an effect on XRP because XRP to an extent is still coupled with the general market, especially Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin does a downturn, everybody does a downturn, including XRP. You can see that the percentages that the XRP token has gone down by isn't as bad as the others, but it is a significant dip nonetheless. I saw minus 6% this morning, which is why I went in and grabbed myself a little bit more XRP. So now I have more XRP at an even lower price than I got it before. So my dollar cost average is now less than it used to be. I expect the dust to settle in a couple of days and start to see the market return to its regular schedule as people just realize that, well, <laughs> we've had good news. Also, uh, XRP has actually done quite well in the last few hours. It's sort of climbed about two to 3% from the depths of where it reached. Again, some of those depths were because of all of the bullish people who put on longs in the market and got liquidated because they weren't expecting, you know, a slight sell off or whatever. So the liquidations and some of the stop losses caused some of the, you know, excessive dips, but all of those have now been bought up. And I think that we're on our way up now.